as we continue to adapt to COVID-19. Air Canada is pleased to be supporting McMaster Health Labs as it undertakes a voluntary COVID-19 study of international travellers arriving at Toronto Pearson International Airport. The study's core purpose is to gather information to help explore the effectiveness of various quarantine periods with a focus on safe travel. The month-long study has been designed and will be conducted in accordance with academic scientific protocols. The study will examine the number and percentage of arriving international travellers who test positive for COVID-19 during the federal government's quarantine period. While on board their flight to Canada, passengers will be asked to voluntarily participate in the study and can sign up directly from the aircraft using our onboard Wi-Fi. Once they land, McMaster Health Lab specialists will guide them through the process. This will help increase the understanding of the prevalence of COVID-19 among travellers, so evidence-based decisions can be made to ensure the appropriate safety measures are in place for the travelling public. We're going to look at three things in this study. The first is, can you do surveillance at an airport in Canada for COVID-19, and if so, how well? Is self-collection an option? Can participants take test kits home? And can they successfully gather samples on themselves? And what are some of the options for governments to consider around the 14-day mandatory quarantine period? So the study will work this way. Participants will register on incoming international flights, and if they don't do it in the air, when they land here at the airport. They will get two more kits here to take home for testing on day seven and 14, but their first test will be here, right in Pearson. The samples will be tested at the Virology Lab in Research St. Joseph's Hamilton, and results will be available within 48 hours. The results in turn will be aggregated, so our research team can look at those aggregated results and begin to draw some conclusions based on the evidence that we're gathering. We want to publish in a peer-reviewed journal to make sure that that evidence can be used by policymakers to help curb the human, economic, and the social cost of COVID-19.